Hi, I'm Nikolai Shamayev and this is Master Glass. Master Glass is a pack of clean realistic fluted, ripped and frosted glass materials specifically designed for Unreal Engine to use with lumen and path tracing. This material pack contains a variety of glass patterns including hexagons, pyramids, rectangles, triangles, waves, lines and also noises. A total of 30 unique clean glass materials for your cinematic renders Archivists and even games. Glass can be a tricky material to create, especially in real time engines and when it has specific shapes that in real life refract the light in many interesting ways depending on the surface of the glass. So, the main feature of this material is the refraction effect, which distorts the image, creating a realistic behavior of the glass of different shapes. What's cool about this material is that you can use it with Lumen as well as with the path tracing with some limitations. And this effect looks amazing using both renders. Let's see how to use this material in your project. Navigate to your master glass folder, go to the materials. Here you will be presented with the two separate folders, for Lumen and for the path tracing. Let's take a look at the Lumen first. Here we have a list of all material instances available for us. And we can simply drag and drop any of these instances onto our mesh. Let's take a look at the parameters we have available. We can control the X and Y tiling. X and Y offset allow us to position the pattern the way it fits our geometry. We can also rotate the texture to give the glass a different look. With the opacity, we can control the transparency of the glass. The specular values allow us to make the glass reflect less or more light. We can play around with the roughness slider, but it won't affect the glass much because of the current lumen limitations. Now let's take a look at the main options that control the refraction effect. The first is IOR, which by default is 1.52 and represents the index of refraction of the glass. The main parameter here is the Fresnel falloff, which allows us to control the refraction effect. Lower values such as 1 will produce stronger image refraction. Higher values like 5 will create just a little bit of distortion. The refraction effects in all glass patterns are possible thanks to special normal map created for each material. In the normal map section, we can use normal strength to control how much it affects on the refraction. So the strength value of 0 will create clear glass with no pattern. And the higher the value you choose, the more pronounced the effect you will get. So, by combining the Fresnel falloff and the normal strength values, you can achieve the result you want. We can also change the color of the glass. But if we just try to use base color, it won't work. To do this, we have to scroll down to the material property overrides and change the shading model from default lead to thin translucent. Now we can use the transmission color to change the color of the glass. And we now got properly tinted glass. Because this glass is complex and tricky material, it has some limitations when used with Lumen. This material can only be one-sided. It means that you have to use a thick mesh with two planes to display the glass on both sides. Now let's take a look at the path tracing. If we go to the path tracing folder, we will be presented with the same list of materials that we can apply in our scene. But the approach to setting up your material is not the same as with Lumen. Since these materials are specifically designed for path tracing, they will not look good with Lumen and will not display correctly in the viewport when the lead mode is on. To see how it will look, we have to go to the view mode and change it to the path tracing. And now it looks great as it should be. Now we can also control the appearance of the glass with almost the same options as we did using Lumen, although it's a little bit different. We can play around with the metalness to get a slightly different look. With the path tracing material we can change the roughness and create more realistic frosted glass look. As you can see here, the Fresnel falloff is set to zero. With the path tracing material you have to control the refraction using IOR values. So the IOR value of 1 will not create distortion. And the higher the value you enter, the more distorted glass you will get. Also, the normal map strength is quite low here. The value of 0.1 will do a good job. So you may need to play around with these settings to get the look you want. The path tracing inside Unreal Engine is currently in development, so not everything is supported yet. Be aware that the current limitation here with the path tracing glass is that we can't really change the color as we did with Lumen and still keep this distortion effect. Also, you need to have a thick geometry in order to display the glass on both sides of your mesh. And you need to have a good UVs. Another great feature of this material pack is that you are not limited to what you already have. You can always create your own glass pattern and use it with this material. You can use it not only with tiling textures, but also with unique textures you have created. Let's say you are texturing your glass object in Substance Painter or similar software. You can bake or create your own unique glass normal map and then use it with master glass. You can simply change the normal map to your own in any of the material instance. Another thing you should consider is optimization. This glass material can be expensive for your performance because it uses surface forward shading lighting modes and creates image refraction. So you have to use it wisely. This material was initially designed to use with cinematic renders and ArcVis. 
But if you're planning on using these materials in games, I would not recommend using it in many places and with large surfaces. Also, all the normal map textures in this pack are 4K in resolution, so you can get the best quality. But if you're using a large tile in values, you can always lower the resolution in the texture settings. You can set the maximum texture size to 512 pixels or even 256 pixels and still get a good result. Thus, you can save on your performance. The Master Glass is now available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. The link will be in the description of this video. I hope this material pack will boost your scenes and renders and will make your job much easier. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections below this video or on the Marketplace page. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always, see you in the next video.